Hey there guys, it's Nintendo Blue Luigi. Welcome back to another episode of Battle Miner. In this episode, I will be covering up some of the new updates that they have done in the past few months. Now, I'm gonna go to the survivors and show you guys what they did on the updates in the previous months. Now, a few months ago, the guy called in the Miiverse, the guy called Wobbly Tooth, and his name is Mark, he is the developer of the Battle Miner. And he managed to uh, give us some other update features, what he's going to do in the recent updates. So basically, he did some of the goods updates and also some which was not a very surprising updates as well. Now, in the survival mode, I was surprised because if you see, from, if you compare to the previous version of the Battle Miner, the graphic, they've actually improved it. It looks more smooth and skies and there's clouds and all sorts of like that. And even the grounds, it looks more grassy and stuff like that. So it is, they did, they improved the graphics, which is good. It doesn't destroy our eyes from playing this game. <laughs> yeah. And also, now let's see if I can actually note, um, find out while we're going. Oh, actually, I'm gonna do the old classic thing, classic thing that I used to do in the previous episode. Always go north if you want to find survivors. Yes, that's what I always did. And they did some few updates. Oh, there we go. That that's one. So if you actually manage to kill that, it is an animal. They've added an animal in the battle miner. It is appeared to be a goat. Surprising, right? Oh, I don't want to kill you. You look so. Adorable compared to me, I think. <laughs> okay, so um, when you kill the goat, it gives you a goat stew and it heals you apparently. Even though you just killed it with a, sh it, you just killed a goat without with a bullet or a pickaxe, you still manage to get a goat stew. So they just spit out goat stew, nothing else, <laughs> which is just out of logic, right? <laughs> Yeah, it is hard to describe about that. There we go. That's why I wanted to find another thing they updated in this game on the survival mode. They've added water. Yes, now you get to swim inside the water like an idiot. And it doesn't really have a surprising feature in this game. Yes, they've added water. I was surprised in this game in the previous version of the Battle Miner when they had no water in the game. I was like, how the hell are you supposed to drink water what well, you want me to well there is snow so you want me to melt snow and then drink water and out this is this game was just out of my mind it was just I like, absolutely blowing up pump my mind and <laughs> yeah it was really confusing to understand everything about this game so anyway so yeah they've added an animal and also water I think I might have missed out something so if I did miss out please tell me in the comments below so that's it for the survival mode, and I'm gonna cover another thing that I really need to show you guys. And this this is going to we determine whether you want to buy this game or not. Well, I guess every people have different opinion. Like every everyone has different opinion, right? So, uh, actually, I'm gonna cover up the creative mode last. Uh, and the recent updates, they finally, finally added the multiplayer feature. So basically what this does is there are three modes, survival, co-op, survival, co-op, co-op, creative, player versus player. So it's obvious, you get to survive, if you do survival, survival, do survival mode with other people. Co-op, no, creative, do creative stuff with other people. Like make stuff, houses, buildings, and all sorts of crazy, crazy stuff. Player versus player, fight, fight each other, kill them and items from them, stuff like that. So that's the three modes they did. Now, mm, one thing I was really surprised and disappointed as well is that they manage, well, you can't really play this unless you add, there are two modes you can actually connect to players, through players, whether if it's local. So basically, the person has to be in front of you or near you like in within 10 meters and then you have to play together and another thing is is the um, 
friend worldwide friend so basically if you have a friend in added in the 3ds and the friend list and the person that made a host in the battle miner then you can actually join them so basically you can't really meet a stranger they haven't made an actual server trying to you know make people gather up in one places and do all sorts of fun stuff as well so they didn't actually do that so I was quite disappointed about that basically I need someone else that owns this game and have an internet access to do a multiplayer on this game if I want to do worldwide so yeah so yeah that's the multiplayer feature I covered up now the last thing I want to cover up for this episode of the battle miner is the creative mode it is much more interesting compared to the survival mode because load 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 come on thank you so in this game in the creative mode they've added new blocks which is in your bag you can't make it but it's not going to be a big problem because when you place the block it doesn't decreases the amount of block that you used up it's actually infinite so that's good instead it increases the amount of blocks that you use so they've added the colors of blocks red green orange blue purple pink gold etc so they've added new blocks that are not featured in the game so now in the survival mode so if you want to be creative I suggest it is best idea to do it in a creative mode not the survival mode because survival survival mode it is it has a really limited amount of limited colors of blocks so if you want to make something like well around of all of these blocks I could even create a bit of Mario so it is easy that is possible but in a survival mode since they don't have red orange purple pink or green you can't make something which is more creative and artistic than like that so of course creative is much more essential if you want to do something if you want to make stuff in the game so yeah now another thing I really want to cover up in this game this is really important guys and I'm pretty sure most of you will agree with me this game they haven't added something very important thing and I'm pretty sure all of you will, will agree with me in Minecraft in the creative mode if you double click the space quickly you get to hover around the map fly around the place like that in a god mode right whereas in this game you can't do that when I try to double jump with double jump on the touch screen or fiddle around with other stuff you, there's no way you get you can you get to fly around the map so what what my point is if you want to build something high like create a high building or high statue of Mario or something like that that you want to create you have to manually go up by placing the block underneath you on your like on on the foot and you have to go up by jumping and stacking all the way up to the height that you want to create so I have to say that is the most disappointing thing that they, 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 they haven't covered up the wobbly tooth haven't covered up the developer of the minecraft no, not, the, not the minecraft battle miner sorry um, so yeah I was surprised that they did not actually do that if, they, if he did manage to make a flying mode that you get to go around around the whole area and then place the blocks more easily then that would have been made more convenient for us to create more create stuff so yeah I have to say I was really disappointed when they did not add the fly, like the flying scene the flying feature the flying option and stuff like that Apart from that, if they do add that, it's perfect. I think they added the basic colors of, to create some of the awesome things. So, yeah, I have to say, it's maybe some people might not agree with me. They said it is not enough to create something that you, that you guys wanted. So, maybe you guys want more variations, variations of colors. Well, I guess you guys have to wait for 
the developer whether if he's gonna create more colored blocks or not since it already filled up the whole bag in your inventory space so yeah I'm just hoping in the future they'll add the flying feature where you get to fly around the map in the creative mode and build things more easily. I think that would be the most convenient thing in the game. So yeah, so I have to say I think that is it to cover up everything and I am actually building something which is right behind me but I'm not going to turn around because I'm still working on it and it's really hard to manually go up the freaking thing and because it is high it is at the maximum height so basically it is humongous Hmm, yeah, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to completing this project that I'm doing and actually show it to that person. This actually represents a let's play in the game that uh, that is one of my favorite let's play on YouTube. So after when I created it, I'll be posted on Twitter and also mentioning that let's play that I've created this for. You. So anyway, I'm going to call this an episode for this battle this update for the battle miner and hopefully there will be more future updates in the future so if you guys enjoyed it make sure to hit the like button and subscribe button for more episodes and tell me in the comments below what you guys think about this to uh, this update on the battle miner were you did you like it was it the thing that you expected or did they do you think they should have added more features if so what kind of what kind of things they should have added so tell me in the comments below and I'm really looking forward to your comments and I will see you guys next time and I hope you all have a fantastic day.